Cantor. How are you, Cantor? Thanks for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope this reading finds you well. This is your mid-monthly March reading. So I'm going to use the Labyrinth Tarot and the Supernatural Tarot. See what's come ready. Ace of Cups. So it looks like this reading is going to be about love. Queen of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Interesting picture. Wow, two pages. Page of Cups next to the Page of Pentacles. So turn those pages. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Wow. So definitely communication about a beginning. Strength. About a beginning in strength. But about a beginning in work that's going to bring in a lot of money. Queen of Pentacles. Underneath the Queen of Cups. The Fool. So there's a beginning here that you need to be taking. I did say beginning. A beginning here that you need to be taking. A journey you need to be going on. Okay, Cancer. Ace of Swords. Definitely. So you're going to be receiving communication about this. I think from an air sign. Six of Swords, who's going to ask you to come to where they are living. It's not necessarily a permanent move or anything like that. That's not what I'm picking up on. Three of Swords. But I would just be a little bit wary with that Three of Swords energy as the final card. But it is striking me as an opportunity to get over any past negative situations. Mm. You've got the tower on the Ace of Cups right here at the beginning. Wow. And the Magician on the Queen of Cups. So the tower on the Ace of Cups is like a renewal in love, a transition in love. Definitely why we've got the Six of Swords showing up. Definitely why we've got the Fool showing up. On the Page of Pentacles, you have the Page of Pentacles. 
I mean, that's 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 no fluke. <laughs> so definitely communication coming in from an uh, an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see what comes up for the page of cups. The moon. And this page of cups is going to help you out with your journey to this ten of pentacles, six of pentacles. The world. Well, that definitely looks like a journey to me. The High Priestess, use your intuition. Remember that life is limitless. The only limits that are in our lives are the limits that we place on ourselves and situations and others and opportunities. Strength on the Strength card. This Strength card, clarifying this Strength card. So definitely something about a Leo. And self-care. I think the care of others is a message that's coming through. You've got the Hanged Man on the Queen of Pentacles. So making sure that you're looking at things from another perspective. Making sure you're looking at your financial growth from another another perspective. The six of wands. On the fool. And you've already got the six of swords. So that's two sixes. Which is great to see. I like to see two sixes. Knight of Swords on the Ace of Swords. So taking action quite quickly on something, when you get the notion, when you get the idea to do something, taking action on it quite quickly. Wow, Temperance on the Six of Swords. And on the Three of Swords, wow, that one absolutely flew out, we have the Nine of Pentacles. And you've already got the Ten of Pentacles in this reading. So a tower moment for old love. Might not be you, Cancer, might be for someone who you were with. But manifesting the Magician, making your manifest manifestations real in this world. Ooh, the magician making your manifestations real in this world in this life for love and money don't forget this moon energy don't forget that there was two pages right next to each other a journey to a ten of pentacles I know it doesn't look like pentacles, but this is the Ten of Pentacles in the Labyrinth Tarot. Okay. And you're ending on the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Thanks very much, Cancer. Peace be the journey. Click. Right now.